Hey, it's springtime, and here in the BYU Splash Lab, we thought it'd be a great idea to spin some eggs, break some eggs, and maybe even laser a marshmallow peep. I'm Professor Tad Truscott in the BYU College of Engineering, and here today we have some of the tools we use to study fluid dynamics. Spheres, tanks of water, lasers, and high-speed cameras. We love the Photron camera, and this one can shoot up to a million frames per second. Check this out. So this thing, like, spread out, and it flattened the egg. And now the egg is like, the egg shell. The egg shell. Now the egg shell is coming back and going, we don't always break eggs. We're more likely to spin them. Did you know that a hard-boiled egg will spin, but a raw egg will wobble? That's because a raw egg's filled with liquid, and the yolk inside will move back and forth, making it wobble. If a hard-boiled egg happens to spin into a puddle of milk, it'll splatter all over. When the egg spins in the milk, we can see that it draws some milk up from the puddle, and it forms these really beautiful jets. And this happens because of the rotation of the egg. The egg causes a, or creates a centrifugal force, and this force draws this fluid from the puddle that it's in, and then it ejects it at the equator in these really cool looking jets. This egg is really a pump. It pulls fluid from the bottom all the way to the side and then flings it out. The pump is kind of unique because it only has one moving part, it's easy to clean, and it can rest at the bottom of the tank it's drawing fluid from. Okay, watch that jet now. Oh, this is yeah. Really see. <laughs> Some of our favorite experiments here are droplets and bubbles. Oh, did you get that? That's good. Oh. Oh. That's, That's awesome. cool, right? Yeah. We analyze super slow-mo images to get detailed information about how the fluids behave. When we look at images of these droplets, we can see that they behave differently depending on the types of surfaces they land on. Uh, a hydrophobic surface is something that repels water or on which beads would form, something like Teflon. And so they're important because they're non-stick, they're easy to clean. There's like the possibility of making self-cleaning surfaces. With super hydrophobic surfaces in particular, um, there's some promise with medical devices. We use lasers in our lasers research on. to illuminate open. particles to see how the fluids move. Look at how powerful this laser is. Does it stink? <laughs> sort of a roasted marshmallow? Using liquid nitrogen can make things that are normally soft become brittle. Check out the difference between this soft peep and this brittle peep. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, I hate peeps. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Look at him bounce. Uh, oh. All right, so it's some um, spring, so we got some daffodils. That's actually really cool. Slowing things way down with this camera at 7,000 frames per second we can turn daffodils into daffodil dust. In fact, I've heard that this is what fairies use for their dust. When fairies need dust, they just go ahead and freeze um, daffodils, and then they crush them. Curse them. <laughs> 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 it like dust Just like ornaments. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us in the Splash Lab today. And remember, you can't do great research without breaking a few eggs or burning a few peeps. <laughs> Oh, burning a few peeps! <laughs>